So my name is Neil. I'm with uh, Dorkaholics.com, and today we're going to be speaking with Suzanne Elaine, who is the writer of a novel and screen writer for the screenplay for Mr. Malcolm's List. Um, so my first question is, as the novelist behind Mr. Malcolm's List, as well as the screenwriter for it, what was it like seeing your work translate from novel to screenplay to this version of the film? Well, it's very exciting, especially since it has been such a long process and I've lived with these characters for so many years. So I'm excited to um, have them um, discovered by a larger audience, you know, the ones that get to see the movie besides the ones who have also read the book. And uh, yeah, it's really, um, I'm really very excited too about the cast in the film and how they've encapsulated these characters and really brought them to life. I think they did a terrific job. And what would you say, in what ways has the film elevated the ideas, characters, themes, and the story that you originally crafted? Well, I think it was, um, I think it was interesting, like um, how for Emma Holly Jones, it was very, important for her to show the female friendship. So that was probably emphasized a little bit more in the film than necessarily the, the book. So, um, and I think those two actors really had that chemistry between them, not just the female male uh, romantic leads, but even the female friendship between Sally Ashton and Frida Pinto was really captured in this film. And personally for you, what was your favorite part of the film? I really like this scene because it was the entire ensemble cast where they're in a horse auction and Gertie Covington, who's played by Ashley Park, uh, meets the rest of, you know, the characters. And she, I was just blown away by her um, comedic side and her acting. She just was so funny. And then all of the other actors really just played off her as well. And so I, that was my favorite scene in the whole movie. I just thought, I mean, I just, I know the scene. I wrote a lot of the dialogue, most of the dialogue and I was laughing out loud. You know? <laughs> like, so I hope that the audiences also find it similarly amusing and hilarious like I did. And what thoughts or feelings do you hope audiences walk away with after watching this film? I just really hope that, um, you know, because we have such a diverse cast and it's so much fun, it will take the spotlight off of some of our anger and division and, you know, kind of the darkness that we've been feeling in this country recently and just give them a nice escape and just a refreshing time where we can focus on um, just something lighthearted and fun and where um, love conquers all. <laughs> How important was it to have that diverse representation in the film from, I guess, square one back when it was a novel? Yeah, well, it actually, in the novel, there wasn't necessarily diversity in the novel. I was explaining that I don't use, um, I was explaining earlier to, to, in one of my interviews, that I don't use a lot of physical descriptions when I write novels. So, um, I kind of leave it open to people's imagination somewhat. There are some, but um, some like Mr. Malcolm doesn't have quite, quite as many physical descriptors. So, um, but it was actually the director's idea when she became attached to do this diverse casting and kind of like at that time, uh, probably the most popular um, uh, uh, production that had done something similar was Hamilton. So she wanted to do like a Hamilton style casting with Mr. Malcolm's List. And we were so happy when Refinery29 gave us the funds to create the short film because that was a way to kind of deliver a proof of concept and to show that this type of casting would work for a period film. And people just loved the short film and that idea was proven to be true. And that actually was released prior to Bridgerton. So it was kind of um, a, li a little ahead of its time. Now, of course, it's catching on and we're seeing more and more of it, which is very nice. But yeah, I love this cast and 
I love that it's been um, it's been made in this in this way that really they're able to use the talents of such a great diverse bunch of people. I love that. Thank you so much for your time today, Suzanne. I'm looking forward to sharing this with uh, other people and hopefully make them fans of the film as well. Thank you. It's so nice meeting you and talking with you.